Welcome you all. So this is the part 4 video of module 6 of Municipal Solid Waste Management. So in the previous videos we have discussed about the different types of composting process. So in this video we shall discuss about the biogas digesters. The municipal solid waste which has high potential for the generation of biogas and hence energy when subjected to anaerobic digestion. Batch and continuous anaerobic digesters have been designed for the treatment of municipal solid waste to yield biogas. So this is a flow chart. In that, in the top, organic waste. So organic waste there will be two processes that is anaerobic decay may occur and aerobic decay may occur. So in order to generate the humus or compost will be considering both aerobic as well as the anaerobic process. Whereas in case to generate the biogas we are adopting the anaerobic decay that is without the oxygen. So the anaerobic decay take place naturally as well as by artificial methods and finally the biogas is generated with a small amount of manure and peat. Now what is biogas digester? So this is a figure of biogas digester. So the anaerobic digestion process takes place in the biogas digesters. And this is the chamber, pre-chamber where the particular anaerobic digestion takes place and uh, finally the biogas is obtained. Now anaerobic digestion. It is a natural process that breaks down organic matter in the absence of our oxygen to release a gas known as biogas leaving an organic residue called as digestate. The biogas. It is a mixture of methane, carbon dioxide and water and can be used to produce electricity and heat or used as a natural gas substitute. Now the digest state that is the leaving organic residue. It is a nutrient rich byproduct of anaerobic digestion and can be used as fertilizer and soil improvement. Now the stages in the biogas digesters. The first stage, hydrolysis. It is the breakdown of complex insoluble organic matter into simple sugars, fatty acids and amino acids. Second one, acidogenesis. It is the further breakdown of the simple sugars, fatty acids and amino acids into alcohols and volatile fatty acids. The third process that is the acetogenesis. It is the conversion of VFAs and alcohols into acetic acid, carbon dioxide and nitrogen. And the fourth one methanogenesis. Finally the acetic acid and hydrogen is converted into methane and carbon dioxide by the methanogenic bacteria. Now this is the photograph of a biogas digester. So the four process taking place. The first stage I have already discussed it is the hydrolysis and second one the acidogenesis. Third one acetogenesis and fourth one it is the methanogenesis and the biogas it is generated which is collected from the top and this energy can be utilized for electricity, heat and vehicle fuel. So the digest state it is a residue leaving and it can be finally used as a manure. So this is the process taking place in the biogas digesters.